What's going on, everybody? Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> this is uh, Rush Dog Ears, and I've only heard good things about this track, so I'm excited to hear it. Lee described Dog Ears as a bit punky. Really? What does that mean? I remember last time they said something was a little bit of a rave. It was not like that at all. <laughs> so maybe this will be more like a disco. Who the hell knows? Anyways, that's what we're checking out today, Dog Ears. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wish list, mailing address, and I do donation request videos. So if there's something you want me to listen to, watch, talk about, a question, anything, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. In the notes section, leave a description, leave a link, let me know what you want the video to be on, and I will make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. That's in the description. Thank you to everybody. All right, let's get to this. What the heck does this, is this dog years or is it dog shit? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what it sounds like. Let's check this out. I'm just basing it on what people tell me is apparently a very bad, it's a dog of a track. Oh boy, all these terrible jokes. All right, bam.
Okay. Okay, I was trying uh, towards towards the end there, and like after I, you know, like got over, like okay, let me not listen to the words. I was trying to hear the song without the words. As hard as that may sound, <laughs> you know, like okay, is it is it just the lyrics that's bad? That's like you know, like it, there was a couple of things going through my mind. The first thing was like, where's the inspiration for this song? Why are they writing this song? Like, what is this? Like, you know, they just like had to write this song. This is just the fire that they had to just get it out. You know what I mean? Like, where did this come from? Why they just had to write about dogs, dog years, dog and write like dog kind of lyrics. All of this goes to Neil, by the way right because he's writing the lyrics and it also goes to getty who is like oh yeah I'll, I'll sing those i'm totally fine with singing that i i was fine with singing you know like china sang to me why wouldn't i also sing about you know all kind of dog cliches dog wagging and uh, wagging tails and etc etc et whatever you know anyways so i was thinking about that and then i was just like okay is it just the lyrics? Is the music good? And like, okay, like, am I okay with the music? It's just the lyrics, you know? And as hard as that is to like separate, I don't know. Cause to me, this is mostly like the lyrics are the bad part. I mean, why? Yeah, chasing cars, like why? Yeah, I don't understand why they wrote this song, why the lyrics are what they are. To me, it's about the lyrics. I'd rather be a tortoise from Galapagos or a span of geological time rather than, like than be living in these dog years, living in these dog years and then talking about is that what it, is that what it is? They're talking about dog years where a year is more like seven. So like time is but like they keep on going on about dogs and all these connections with dogs. People look to Sirius, dog year cry of the moon, can it you know, whatever, bones buried, you know. Season of the itch, scratch, reappear, son of a bitch, female dog, right? Right? Like, okay, they're like, okay, yeah, all this wordplay things about dogs. But what are they trying to say? Something about just like time is moving really slow. A year is really more like seven. Am I dissecting this too much? Does it matter? I don't understand. So to me, it's just like, okay, it has more to do with like the lyrics. But there wasn't any like real like deep thing like i'm i'm searching for it <laughs> you know what i mean it wasn't just something i don't know is this like the equivalent of, uh, equivalent of me trying to dissect tai shan what's happening here what am i doing with myself <laughs> i don't know there were parts in the music that i didn't think were bad you know like when i was trying to just hear it aside from the lyrics just listen to like what's happening musically with the harmony and the melody and the rhythm and all that I wasn't like super bothered by it. yeah like that like where it's like okay this is a little punky or whatever that was whatever but there there were other part there's plenty of other parts that I was like this is fine it's just the words it's just the lyrics anyways Merry Christmas <laughs> yeah all right uh, virtuality which I heard is another uh, great song is of tomorrow for Christmas so you can uh, you can tune in or you can if you already know the song and you know it's terrible I don't know if it's terrible I've literally never heard it before I'm only going off your comments but if you're one of those people who's like this song is the worst maybe not as bad as dog years but it's uh, a close second it's right after it <laughs> and you don't watch have a merry Christmas I don't want to whisper it but merry in your uh, Great White North or whatever. People want me to listen to this. What is this Great White North? Great White North song. Bob and Doug McKenzie with Getty Lee. Okay. Whatever that is. Anyways, maybe I'll have to check that out. Oh my God. Anyways. Okay. Uh, wow. Merry Christmas. I'll catch you guys in the next video.